Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. Good morning, happy, if you're watching this live, happy Monday. I would love to know um, how your morning is. I hope you had a great weekend. We're gonna dive into the last bit of this book and finish it this week, and then we will dive into a new book in December. So, as you're tuning in, it's actually really cold here. And I have the heat on. I was just sitting by the fire, but I'm really cold. So I'm going to read a fun little goals quote, and then I'm going to read something to you from this book that I thought was great. Kind of talks about opportunities, doors, and windows. So as you're tuning in, good morning, good morning. I love this week. I'm actually really excited for this week. If you live in the United States, it's Thanksgiving week. Some So for people who work outside the home, they'd be like, yes, it's a short week. Uh, we've got all the fun things. I know not many people don't like Black Friday, but I love Thanksgiving. We've got one on, well, we're celebrating my dad's 60th birthday. We've got Thanksgiving on Wednesday, Thanksgiving on Thursday. It's my husband and my anniversary this week. It's 17 years. We get to go have a fun day on Friday. So I'm re really excited for this week. It's kind of like kids in Christmas. Like I was like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. And so how about we start this day off today? What's one thing you're thankful for? I'm thankful for you. I, I actually am. I love this Keto Mom page. I love helping others. I love when people send me their questions and I can help you work through things. And it's usually just a simple answer that you might go, huh, and I love that. I love having conversations. So what are you thankful for? I'd love to know. All right, all right. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Somebody, she said, unless you work in retail or for the medical field. So you're right. My mom works for the medical field. My parents have worked in the medical field their whole life. So every holiday they were working. So for those who are working and for those who you're amazing, you're amazing. If you're working retail or in the medical field or any place in between, because you are blessing other people. So think about it like that, right? All right. I thought this was a fun little quote. It says this, I waited, as, I waited a long time out in the world before I gave myself permission to fail. Please don't even bother asking. Don't bother telling the world you are ready. Show it and do it. And really, it's just based on action, right? I was like, action. Action is the key, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a second. You probably hear me talk about this a lot. But if you have been on this page for any point in time, I hope you have realized that I always say, Listen, I can tell you how to eat. I can tell you all of the tips and tricks, but you can't just watch a whole bunch of people or you can't just read all of the books and not put the work in, right? It's action that flips the switch. Action. You take what you learned, you put it into action. You take what you learn, you put it into action. You will see the results come out of the fruit of your work, consistent work over time. So, we are on chapter seven. I'm going to read just a very brief little statement that he said. We're going to, we're in, we're, it's called impact. Leave your mark. And he tells stories. I'm not going to read all the stories to you, but he says, oftentimes most of the book is about divine moments. Like, are you seizing your moments? Are you seeing them? Are you sitting back and just waiting, asking for more and more signs? Or are you going to, are you going to do it? Like, are you going to do the thing that's in front of you? You might be afraid and it's okay but are you going to take action? The most divine moments need to be seized, not simply walk through. He says, there are many times in our lives when we thought we, one opportunity was God's door and then we found out it was shut at that very last moment. Have you ever had like the doors open, the doors open, and then the doors closed, right? In the midst of discouragement, we find that God created a new opportunity that we never imagined. That would be the window. Yet many times we find our closed doors and locked windows, long corridors, endless hallways. In other words, we find lots of walls. How many of you feel like there's lots of walls and no doors and no windows? 
it's pretty easy to see the doors of opportunity, and it's always exciting when a window of opportunity opens. What can be missed are endless divine opportunities hidden behind the walls that can be discovered only if you go through the wall. Keep listening. Some of life's greatest opportunities are not behind doors or windows, but they're behind walls. They require genuine effort. Be they require beyond risk. They require real sweat. It requires action. Oftentimes, I think we sit back and we go, and so we have a distinct yes, or a 100% the door is opened or the window is there for you. Rarely do people try to bust down a wall. Why? Because they think, well, it's not mine. I, I can't have that. I shouldn't have that. When in reality, it's exactly what he's saying. There are a lot of opportunities and there are a lot of things that you can go after in your life and they're behind a wall, which means it could be, it could be uh, not a clear vision. There's not a map for you to get it. You know it's there and you probably know it's going to take a lot of hard work, but I can totally get there if I'm consistent. I put in the work, I put in the sweat, I put in the effort, I take the action and I don't just sit back and wait for the door to open right? I think we use the excuse, well, it's not really for me. It's for somebody else. It really wasn't a door. I didn't have the, I didn't get the word. I've been praying about it for a long time. I just didn't know if I should do it. So I waited. I love what he said. He said, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of great opportunities behind walls, but what you have to do is put in great effort. Most things in life don't come easy. And if you're watching about like if you're just here for fat loss, it's not going to come easy. It's simple, not easy. Nothing is easy, but there's a simple process. If you put in the work consistently over time, you will get past the wall. That's the fear. It's the hard work. It's the, I can't believe it. It might seem impossible, right? But you can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Simple. I like that word. All right. He says, I've become convinced over the years that most important moments to seize the most significant God opportunities are the ones that do not come easy. Even when they, even when they begin easy enough, oftentimes they become far more complex. So after you start, right, you're excited. I'm going after this. I don't know where it's going. I don't have all the steps, but I'm going to take the next step. And then what happens? your simple process becomes harder and harder, right? It becomes more complex and difficult in the last phases. It shouldn't surprise us that giving ourselves to great things comes with a cost. After all, if divine moments were that easy to seize, everyone would be living the abundant life of which they, they want. Something to think about today, right? Are you doing easy? Are you waiting? Have you been waiting and waiting for the most divine opportunity, the, the dream, or I'm, I'm just waiting. I don't know. Sometimes waiting is going to result in missed opportunity. It might not look like the door is open or the window is open, but anything behind the wall can be achieved if you put in the work, right? So I just want you to know anything that you're hoping for, the desires in your heart, the things you want to go after, you know this, but a reminder would be don't just study it. Don't just hope for it. Don't just wish for it. You're going to have to work towards it. And in that work, consistency over time, and you're going to learn and you're going to fall and you're going to get back up. Remember, the only way you fail is if you quit, right? You will accomplish and you'll get further and further and further, one step at a time, one day at a time, but you will get there in the time frame with which you allow it. The harder you work, the more consistent you are, it will go faster, right? And faster could be two years versus five years. Faster could be one year versus the three weeks that you want to see results in. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this morning. We'll continue to work on. My goal is to be done with this book. It will be done with this book by this week. And then we'll take uh, the last few days and I'll just give you some different things to think about. We're going to start The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins in December. Otherwise, reach out with any questions that you have. I'm always here to help. You can send me a message. It doesn't matter if it's a keto question or a food question or an exercise, whatever it is. Send me a message. I would love to chat. 
I hope you have an incredible morning and we'll talk to you soon.